So I just walked up to the skid steer this morning and we got a heck of a hydraulic leak. I don't know if you can see that. It's just dripping right out of the bottom here. And it looks like it's this arm on this side, all this all this spray here. This this wasn't this one here before I used it last. And uh can see down in there awfully wet Let's see if we can see through here it's the back side of those hoses well see if we can get a get it opened up a little bit and get a wrench on it I haven't had any problems really with any hydraulic fluid leaking with this thing to date you can see right now that on this gauge and I parked a little bit uphill but it's nothing in there so we lost a good amount of fluid all right well take a look Those don't look wet. Seems like it's down lower. But this hose, this hose here that looks wet. There's no pressure on this one. It's like it just got sprayed or something. I think I'll crank it up and then see if I can see any fresh fluid coming out. Looks like I got three uh, three things to be checking there. Two hoses and that one plug thing, but I guess that plug thing doesn't look like it's leaking. So I just clean it off and I can see get a wrench here. It's not even a fitting, but I can see it pouring out of this this valve here, right at the tip of my wrench. There's some kind of like a cap or something that maybe I can put a Allen wrench on it or something and tighten that thing. I don't know, but that seems to be right where it's coming out. That's where my leak is it doesn't appear to be one of those two uh nuts there it's that round i guess plug where another hose could fit but it's like that seal's gone or something there's nothing even to tighten on it that i can tell you can see the fluid starting to build up on it now about to drip and this piece is wedged behind the fuel filter in the right arm of the bobcat. I think it looks like you can see the leak from here too. And yeah, see it's up above that uh, vertical hose, metal hose. It's right behind it and then it's leaking down. 
past it. All right, so I managed to figure out it has a 3 8 appears to be a 3 8 Allen wrench uh, fitting on there. So I got an Allen wrench wedged in there right now that I think if I took out this fuel filler neck area here, get this hose out of the way, I might be able to put a couple cranks on that and try to tighten that. That's what we got going on. And that thing probably has an O-ring behind it. So it'd be good to take it out. But I'm thinking I'd just try to put a crank on there and see if I tighten it a little bit if it stops leaking. And if not, pull the whole thing out. See if there's an O-ring to be replaced or not. Yeah, so there's my 3 8 It's a plug that does just about nothing. And what is the point and it has to leak? Yeesh. So I got my 3 8 hex bit on there. Managed to get a wrench, socket wrench on it. And I got this pipe for a little bit of leverage. And I'm just hoping to get a, to loosen it up. It wouldn't tighten. So I'm just going to try to take it out and hopefully it's just the O-ring that's bad. Well, looks like it broke free, I hope. All right, so it looks like it's turning. I'm just getting a couple of clicks on the socket at a time, but it's moving. You can see that hex is turning. So I'll go ahead and keep doing this and then pull the plug out and then check out that O-ring, see how that is. Ah, there it comes. And you can see that O-ring on there. So there's the source of my leak. Just, yeah, feels just kind of stiff. That O-ring feels stiff, but shit. To look at it closer and see if there's pinched or something. But that's the cause of the leak right there. So I got the O-ring kit here, and it looks like this one is a 14. And if I look at the specs on that, outside diameter, 15 sixteenths, inside 3 fourths of an inch, the 3 32nds wall. And I don't know what the spec in the manual calls for for this thing, but this looks pretty close, and it feels pretty close. We'll pop this bad boy on and hopefully we're good to go.